What's up guys, Crisis Revolution here, and today I'm back with an episode of the Photoshop Touch tutorial series, guys. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are enjoying this series. I saw a ton of great feedback on episode 1, so I am positive you guys are going to enjoy episode 2. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of these profile pictures around Twitter and YouTube and stuff. And, um, most of them are made on PC. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to try to make this on iOS, mobile, whatever you guys want to call it. And this is what I came up with. I think it's pretty close. But, guys, I am going to show you how to make this. When I posted on Twitter, I got a lot of requests. So I'm going to show you guys, don't want to do that. I'm going to show you guys how to make this. So what you're going to do is... You're going to go into, not going to there, what am I doing? No, actually, yeah, you're going to go into your photos. And I suggest going on Google or anything like this and searching stripes. Just any kind of stripes. And what I have, I have a stripe picture just like this, which um, I used for my last one. But you just get some stripes, and they work really well with this profile picture. I'm just going to get this down in the corner, like so. Please, you know why? Okay, good. So now I have these stripes. So now you're going to go up to FX. Blur, and just blur it a ton, a ton, and a ton, as much as you want. I'm just going to go maybe about full, I don't care. So now you have this really blurred, but it has some texture to it. And now what you're going to do is go into your photos and get whatever render you want to do. Um, I should have some right here. This will all load. Please load. And I'm thinking about maybe using this one. This was made by... Uh... Uh, I can't think of who it is on top of my head. Sorry if you're watching this video. I'll put a link to who made my re this render in the description. If I remember, because I'm awful at remembering description stuff. Don't. Please don't blame me. But anyway, let me just stop lagging, Photoshop. You never lag, except for when I record. Come on. It's going to lag awful for some reason. I don't know why. It's being weird. But anyway, let me just get this settled. And there we go. It's polite. So, wait a minute. That's offset. Let's move it. Sorry, this is so tedious, guys, and sorry if you hear some tapping. I just got it just to the side a little. No, don't don't use that. Just no magnet. Freehand it. And come on. That looks about even. Let me get to the side a little bit more. Okay, let's do that. So now, guys, you have your render and your background on the little sidebar over here. And on this little extra layer that it always comes, you're just going to put it all the way on the top. And then go to your render layer, go to this little, like, settings button, hit select pixels. So now, guys, it will select the entire area around your picture. You're going to go back to the, um, the empty slide, go up to the and button, fill and stroke, and stroke it. I suggest um, using black, because it doesn't stand out as much, and turning it all the way down to one, if I can get it there. So let's go into this, don't lag on me, Photoshop, and one. So now I have this like black outline around my guy, but it's only on this layer. So if I turn it off, it goes on and off. Don't do that. So now this is for the um, the little glow effect on the character. So now what I'm gonna what I'm do, gonna do bleh, is take my magic wand tool and on the outside, not the render, but on the outside, select the whole entire outside. Go onto the and button. Make sure you're still on the outline layer, and you're gonna fill it. And this is, the, this is just so the glow doesn't go outside, it just stays inside. Because as you can see on this little layer, let me just go into this, if it's just going to lag and jitter for some reason. But as you can see, only the inside is transparent. So now you're going to go to FX and Glow. And now this glows on the inside. Change this to whatever color you want. I think I'm going to do something like that. Hit OK. Go to your magic wand. Hit the black tool. Uh, come on, let's hit the black and simply clear it. So now, guys, I have my render. It sometimes has this little weird outline. You can just, I don't know why it does that. Uh, one way to fix it is when you do that fill thing, just make it white, that way it doesn't select the black. But this is an easy fix if you just go to your eraser tool. Uh, I'm not gonna do it right now, but um, you can fix it, don't worry, it's easy. I'll just leave it for now. So, now we have this glow effect and it looks epic. You can go to your render, Maybe do a little drop shadow on it, whatever you want. And guys, that's about it. I'm going to actually show you one more thing. Just to make that little glow effect look a little better, let me actually get rid of that. Um, that. And we're going to go back to glow and just add the glow around it. Now, take in regard 
that um, this black line should not be there. I'll see if I can clear it out by just selecting it. I doubt it. Did that do anything? Well, it actually did a pretty nice job of it. Let me just do clear on that. Maybe that fixed some of it. I don't know. Nah, not really. Oh, actually, no, I didn't do it on the right layer. Duh. Let me go up here. Hit clear. Did that fix it? Yeah, it actually did a good job. But guys, now you can see the glow is on the inside again. I'm going to go back to the render. Not do that. Hit glow. Go on the outside. Probably turn the intensity down. Just make it a little like that. Perfecto. And guys, now you have a really professional looking um, profile picture. I can, I'm losing sight of the words. I think maybe if I just turn that off, will it work? No, because then the glow on the inside goes away. But yeah, guys, here you have a really professional pro looking profile picture. You can turn just all that black off, like I said. But other than that, it looks pretty epic. Um, I'm just going to go to the render and duplicate it real quick, just as a little extra special effect, and put it under it. So now you have this second render under it. Go to FX, Directional Blur, stick it like whatever direction, and just completely blur it. And this adds this kind of thing. So, yeah, it kind of looks weird, but it just adds a little, little effect. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, but now you have this really professional looking profile picture. If this um, tutorial helped you guys, or you need a little extra help on it, just tweet me at CrisisYT. Link in the description below. But guys, if you did enjoy this Photoshop Touch Tutorial Series episode, please leave a like and possibly subscribe for more Pocket Edition news, updates, gameplay, and more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.